Hi, I'm here with my two colleagues, Anna Karlsdottir and Anna Lundgren, two senior researchers from Regio. Um, Anna Karlsdottir, uh, will rural regions be more or less attractive in the, in the future? I think there will be some uh, regional variations, but I think that the rural regions uh, in vicinity to urban regions may become more attractive, especially for the creative class and those who have really uh, uh, gotten uh, more routinized with uh, uh, using digital solutions in their work um, workday uh, arrangements. And how is the rural youth affected? Uh, who gets left behind? Young people graduating from stu studies now are very concerned about the future occupations and this rising unemployment trend is definitely going to affect young people uh, very much and is a source of concern in terms of equality development in the Nordic region. Thank you. Uh, Anna Lundgren, uh, how will the corona affect people's perception of uh, health and well-being? I think in a short-term perspective, we're very much occupied now with the, the risks of, of getting uh, getting caught by the cor coronavirus uh, for, for ourselves and for our families. Uh, and in a longer term perspective, I think we will reflect upon what this man means to to health and well-being and uh, the issue of having this possibility of having a virus around us is something that we haven't seen before to this extent in the Nordic countries. So it's an unfamiliar situation. We will also see health effects and effects on well-being that relates to the economic crisis and the loss of jobs, etc. Mm. You have studied a lot about the digitalization of, uh, of healthcare. So do you see this as the beginning of uh, a new digital uh, health era, perhaps? <laughs> With this, this uh, pandemic that we're now having and the increased use of digital solutions that we have seen both in healthcare and in elderly care, uh, that, that has, um, this situation has uh, released <laughs> uh, quite a few of these obstacles that we that we saw before. What do you think is the most exciting topic to study next uh, in this uh, current light of uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemia? Anna Lundgren? I think one topic that is interesting is the digitalization and the consequences of digitalizations uh, in society and the impact of digitalization in society. So that is one topic. Mm. Uh, another topic regards uh, the, the perception regarding health and vulnerability and resilience and how mm. we can build resilient societies and how we can use digitalization to build resilient societies. Thank you. And Anna Karlsdottir? I'm also interested in uh, changed perceptions uh, and in relation to rural uh, development I would like to look into uh, multifunctionality as a way of living uh, to build uh, cohesive or resilient uh, communities and societies. I'm also interested in uh, uh, the uh, approach to digitalization with uh, uh, in trend towards more equal uh, digitalization and then I'm also concerned with uh, rebuilding sustainable tourism that has been uh, uh, seriously disrupted in the corona crisis. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you both.